April the 12th, 2019. Guys, you're looking at Earth-facing images of our sun. This is through the Solar Dynamics Observatory. It's a satellite. And you're seeing B-class flares coming from this large sunspot area that we've been watching for a few days. Check this out. That is a very high arc. It's a lot of energy. The Earth could fit inside that sunspot, not that area that you see. And we'll look at that a little closer, but right inside the sunspot. Now, those arcs mean something when we're in solar minimum and we're getting into grand solar minimum. And finally, we're getting some scientists out of the global warming scheme into what's really happening. But guys, this is, a, again, a large area, and look at the arcing electrical loops. This is a still image, a combination of three different cameras you can see at the bottom. And uh, you see your coronal holes at both the poles of the sun. But this area of activity is very large. So even though they're B-class flares, they're large, and they are affecting our planet. That sunspot, and then you see the affected area where from the sunspot you're seeing these large electrical loops and arcs. This is Earth scale to the actual spot itself. Behind it you will, uh, is that area. But the, again, the Earth could fit through that opening. This is how large the area is. Now let's look at our solar wind speeds. Your average is near the bottom of the scale from 325 to 350 kilometers per second. We're getting up into 460s, uh, things like that, guys. And you're approaching, when you do that, a million miles per hour. It gets very fast and very intense. It's almost incomprehensible to the human mind, the speed of this. Now, if you look at the timing, there's two things that match this earthquake. And this was a 6.8, nearly a 7.0. This was south-southwest of Luwak. Indonesia, very shallow at 17.5 kilometers. Remember the time, 11.40.49. We saw this jump in solar wind speed, but that is not all we saw. Remember the arcs that I showed you at the beginning of the video from the sunspot? Paused it there in a great arcing electrical burst, recall, solar flares. Again, if you're a B-class solar flare is not a big deal during solar maximum. Our shields are weak. Now, it's also uh, affecting one of the most dangerous areas in the world. That's uh, 4.6 there off the California coast at the southern end of uh, Cascadia. And I'm glad to see that we're getting some scientists on board with uh, deep solar minimum. Today's spatial weather, it says experts predict a long deep solar minimum. Damn. I wonder where they came up with that. Anyway, if you like solar minimum, good news. It could last for years. That was one of the predictions issued last week by an international panel of experts who gathered at NOAA's annual space weather workshop to forecast the next solar cycle. If the panel is correct, already low sunspot counts will reach a, na a nadir sometime between July 2019 and September 2020, followed by a slow recovery toward a new solar maximum in 2023 and 20. 26. We expect solar cycle 25 will be similar to cycle 24, another fairly weak maximum. We're going downhill, guys. Preceded by what? A long, deep minimum. Look how long the recovery time is, guys. Pay attention. 2023, 2026. A lot can happen in some cold weather. Just ask the people in the Midwest. But uh, on the chart, you can see cycle 24. And if you've seen uh, my videos, we have charts that go way back, and these are very small. The solar cycle is like a pendulum swinging back and forth, and that's what it does, but it has, it doesn't swing back and forth equally. It goes through minimums and maximums. Very important chart. Notice B, these B-class flares. That was what we were seeing when the video began on the teal camera of the SDO when I paused it. Notice the timestamp, very important, 1140 when it struck the ground and it was picked up at Boulder, Colorado. Look at the bottom right of this. This is G, uh, OES X-ray flux. Exact time, 1140 of the 6.8 in Luwak, Indonesia. Again, shallow quake. There were worried about ground liquefaction in that area. But uh, the tsunami warnings were not issued. There was uh, not a whole lot of buoys in that area. 
but we got to watch it, guys. There may be some reports coming in from some from small waves and things in that area that uh, would affect boats, especially in harbor, and some shaking. That's a powerful quake, 6.8 at that depth, 17.5. But, guys, this is an importance of the new science that we're discovering going into this minimum as we can use the technology that is now available for the first time during one of these events. So I've been watching this sunspot for this very reason. Now, hopefully, it will remain in the B-class area. Notice your scale to the right of the chart on the right, A, B, C, M, X. So these are very small, but our shields are very weak. Another thing, the sunspot is very large. They're very rare, but it is what it is. And guys, at least NOAA now is saying we're not going into global warming. That is a big thing. That's huge to me because it's going to kill the carbon tax uh, crazies on the far left. Al Gore, AOC, all of these people that were going to make millions, including the Clinton Foundation, off the carbon taxes. In other words, you can pollute if you've got enough money to pay us. But like many of the uh, far left ideas, they're falling apart, guys. We're watching this. You watch it. And I want to say thank you for all of you guys that are ordering the, Mr. I'd say, I need to say Kennedy uh, t-shirt that uh, when he said it must really suck to be that dumb. The, the 2020 heads up shirt guys but uh thank you for those uh they will be going out shortly they were they've already been ordered it just happened a few days ago when he made that classic statement so within uh, the next four or five days you should be starting to get your shirts in now the ones um that were ordered that are the classic eagle tees they're they ship daily we have those in stock so they're coming out to you may have already gotten a few but guys we appreciate it during this time of censorship on the conservatives. It's what helps us keep going. Be safe.